guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another hair video and today's wig is from asteria hair so today i'm working with their 5x5 hd lace closure wig in the length 24 inches and it's 180 density so if you guys want to see how i installed and styled this wig then make sure you stay tuned and carry on watching Okay, so now we're going to move on to installing so you guys can see this is a 5x5 this is a 5x5 lace closure wig so i've already gone ahead to bleach the nuts because they didn't come pre-bleached i used the 40 volume i used the 40 volume developer and some bleach powder to bleach the nuts and you guys can see this also comes with some straps and some combs as well i've already gone ahead to customize the hairline of the wig as well so now all we need to do is just to install the wig so this is the hd closure wig from asteria hair and as you guys can see this lace this lace is really good it's really doing what it's supposed to do as an HD lace like it literally just melts into the skin as you can see so I do need to match the lace to my skin tone so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of my face powder so this will help with the lace blending into my skin better I feel like already you guys can see how like this just looks so good it looks so much better and it's blending into my skin for sure I love this wig. I feel like I'm not really a curly hair type of person, type of girl, but a deep wave wig, closure wig, because listen. I'm just gonna grab my wax stick one more time just to make sure you know there's no hair getting in the way whilst I'm installing so everything can all be going in the same direction and now I'm gonna grab my um, razor and just start cutting and I'm cutting as close as I can to um, the hairline You guys can see how good this lace is. You can't even, where's the lace? Where is it? Because, and this is not even glued down yet.
Okay, so now I'm just gonna um, take out some hair on the side to use as my baby hairs. So for the first time, I'm going to try and do the, um, you guys know the baby hair trend that's been going around lately. So I'm going to take my um, curling wand, you guys can see it's quite thin. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Grab my um, olive oil grip gel. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is what the hair is looking like right now. So I'm just going to go do my makeup, beat my face, and then I'll be back to show you guys how I define the curl pattern and, you know, make it stand out a bit more. Okay, so I've just finished my makeup and this is what it's looking like. I've just done like a very simple um, makeup beat. This is my go-to everyday makeup look. So now I'm just going to go back to my hair and just finish off styling the hair. This hair is really, really nice and it's so soft and so fluffy as well. So this is the hair in its natural state. Lovely. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hot comb the top of my hair again just so it can lay the way I'd like it to lay. And then I'm going to go ahead and wet the hair with some um, water. grab my wax stick one more time and just get rid of any flyaways that I may have. I feel like I really want to work on like improving my installation process and how I install my wigs and stuff so there's some there's some new products that I need to get. <laughs> I'm not going to spray too much because I'm not going for that drenched, soaked, wet look. I just want it to be damp enough so you know the curls are a bit more defined. Okay, so I'm done wetting this hair and this is what the hair is looking like. And I just say I'm so happy with my install today. This doesn't look like a closure. It looks more like a... Is it a closure? Is it a frontal? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I'm really happy with the insole. So like I said, this is the 5x5 five five lace closure wig from Asteria Hair. And I've got their deep wave wig in the length 24. But I'm going to confirm that and then list it down below because I'm not sure if this is 24 or 26. But yeah, the density of this wig is 180. I feel like when it comes to my curly or wavy um, wigs, I tend to go for 180 density just because I feel like 
anything more than that 250 is just way too much especially with especially with um curly and wavy hair because you guys know how like it gets bigger as time goes on basically so i prefer to just stick to either 150 or 180 density for my um wavy or curly hair units basically so yeah guys when it comes to the hair itself the hair is really soft and the fact that i can run my fingers through this hair that says a lot about the hair because you know it's good hair because a lot of times when you get wavy hair it tends to you know tangle up at the back or like mat up and stuff but yeah i'm really impressed with this hair i absolutely love the wig and the fact that it's a closure wig means you know install is very easy and this is their hd lace absolutely amazing you can't see it like it's literally melted into my skin the hd lace is so good i think the last thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to apply some um concealer down my part just to make it stand out So yeah guys, that brings me to the end of this video. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think of this wig down below and the way I've installed the wig. I did try something new today, which was, you know, curling my baby hairs. And I do feel like it does kind of help with laying down your baby hairs. That's the only thing. That's the only thing I'll say about, you know, curling your baby hairs before slicking it down. So I'm going to make sure to list all the links that you guys need to know down below in the description box. So please make sure you check for anything you'd like to know. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.